The law behind the Guildmaster. During the Age of Heroes, the Heroes Guild had many students who trained, graduated, and went out into the world to make a difference. One of these students was Weaver. During his time at the Heroes Guild, Weaver trained in the ways of Will and learned about ancient languages and cultures. He became friends with another student, Maze, and together they discussed how unhappy they were with the current running of the guild. The guild at this time offering only good quests, while they wanted the guild to offer both good and bad, allowing the heroes of Albion to choose their own alignment. Together, and with other students, Weaver and Maze decided to revolt against the current leadership of the guild. During this revolt, many heroes died resulting in the number of heroes within the world being at its lowest for centuries. As a powerful wizard, Weaver was able to use defensive spells to create magical shields around his friends, heal them, and increase their attacking ability. Although unshown through his time at the guild, it is said that he had other powers that other heroes could not even imagine, leaving his true magical power a mystery. Successful after this revolt, Weaver was visited by Scythe, the first hero, and essentially the creator of the Heroes Guild with the help of Nostro. Scythe recommended that Maze become the head of the guild, while Weaver become the new guildmaster, due to his impartial serenity. With Weaver as the guildmaster, the Heroes Guild now had balance, and with it, Albion had balance. As the years passed, Albion grew, and Weaver trained the world's strongest heroes, two of these being the legendary Thunder and Briar Rose. One night, while watching over the guild, Maze arrives with a young boy whose small village of Oakvale had been burned to the ground during a bandit raid. Although not seeing any hero potential in the boy, he trusted Maze's intuition and the next day begins to train him. As the boy grew, Weaver formed a strong relationship with him and trained him in the hero disciplines of will, skill and strength. After many years of training, Weaver presided over the hero's graduation from the guild, where he could go out and choose his own path. Now travelling around Albion, the boy discovered that the evil Jack of Blades had been responsible for the death of his family. Weaver aids him through every step of his journey to discover what had happened to them, communicating with him through his guild seal. He reminds the hero to drink potions and eat food when he is injured, also pushing him to be better by encouraging him to increase his combat multiplier. To Weaver, this boy was more than just another trainee, and throughout this time, Weaver had begun to see the hero as a son. Along his journey, the hero of Oakvale asks him for help to decipher Arban's Thaumatagoria using his knowledge of ancient languages so that they can pass a barrier to access the Septimal Key. During Jack's assault on the guild after activating focus sites across Albion, Weaver attempts to stop him from entering the Chamber of Fate but, unfortunately, he is not powerful enough and Jack leaves him severely wounded. Luckily, the hero of Oakvale follows Jack into the chamber and stops him, saving Albion and the guild from his evil plans. Over the next year, Weaver rebuilds the hero's guild and continues to guide his students. He becomes aware of an evil growing within the region of the Northern Wastes, 
and brings in the hero of Oakvale to investigate, which they later discover to be a resurrected Jack of Blades. Weaver once again does everything he can to help the hero defeat this great evil. To access Jack behind the Bronze Gate, the hero of Oakvale has to sacrifice the oldest soul to a mechanism attached to the Bronze Gate to access Archon's folly. Here, he is given the choice between taking the soul of an already deceased Nostro or killing Weaver and taking his. It is not clear what transpired during the hero's journey at Archon Shrine. Some believe that the hero chose to do the right thing and took the soul of Nostro, while others believe that the hero betrayed Weaver, a man that had given him years of training, love and pride. Over the next 500 years, and after the destruction of the guild, the people of Albion still remember him, the Guildmaster, not remembered for all the good he did, but that he would annoy his heroes, asking them questions through their guild seal. His most famous question you ask, Hero, your health is low, do you have any potions or food? Hello heroes, thank you for watching this lore episode on Weaver the Guildmaster. What did you think? As always, like, share and subscribe if you found this interesting. Join our discord. Now, enjoy your day. Bye.